everyone, uh, this is Becky, and I decided today that we would delve into the world of theories, um, and specifically a theory that I came up with, or that I wrote out really, about The Sims universe and the timeline that is created with it. The Sims franchise has been around for quite a while, 16 years to be exact, and throughout its history there have been changes to the way the game plays, whether it's through how your Sims interact, how they look, and how they live, each sequel brings new offerings to the table. With that being said though, there's something that is always consistent with the series. That would be the backstories created for each game, and the sims pre-existing in the world. I say backstories kind of loosely because they're not really backstories as much as pre-existing stories within each of these pre-existing families. And through these pre-existing sims, I will explain my theory for the sims timeline. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the goth family, which for those who are fans of the series, you'll know that they exist in all four iterations of the game. If you've played all the Sims game, or even more than one iteration of the Sims, you'll realize that the goth family is different in every game. Each iteration of the family unveils a little bit more about both the goth family and where the Sims game sits on a timeline for the series. To start off, the original goth family consists of two adults and a child. Mortimer and Bella, the adults, and Cassandra, the child. With the fifth expansion to the Sims game, Sims Unleashed, came the unveiling of Mortimer's parents, Gunther and Cornelia. With the release of Mortimer's parents, we get a clue as to who the Goths are, but also we're basically being told, hey, you're going to be seeing way more of the Goths, so get ready. The Sims 2 was where the developers were really getting a grasp as to what exactly they had created with The Sims, so the backstories to all the pre-existing households became way more interesting. In the first Sims, it is assumed that Bella and Mortimer are the same age because there is no aging in the first Sims. However, in The Sims 2, Mortimer is now an elder Sim. His wife Bella is nowhere to be found, his daughter Cassandra is now an adult, and he now has a son who is a child named Alexander. Bella Goth is assumed to be abducted by aliens. Uh, we know she is not dead, for her face is not gray within the family tree, although Bella does not exist in the same neighborhood as the rest of the Goths. In The Sims 2, there is a townie NPC that is made to look like her in the neighborhood of, the, of Strange Town, where aliens are the hot topic. In The Sims 3, the Goths are present as Mortimer a child, Cornelia, an adult, and Gunther, also an adult. The parents from The Sims Unleashed now make their appearance as playable characters, and they are very different from their future selves, who are dapper and proper seeming. The goths found in The Sims 3 are what we today would typically classify as goth, with dark clothes, hair, and a style that does not match the dark suits found in the first Sims. There's really nothing too significant about The Sims 3 um, goth family, but it's important to note what the ages are, so that way we can fit them into the timeline. Lastly, in The Sims 4, the goths are as follows. Adult Mortimer, young adult Bella, teenaged Cassandra, and child Alexander. Now, officially, The Sims 4 is set in an alternate universe. However, I don't see why the fourth Sims cannot exist in the same world as The Sims. The Sims 4 should be able to be connected to the first Sims, the second Sims, and the third Sims. Or at least, the first Sims and the third Sims. Um, and this is kind of where the theory really comes in about a split in the timeline. So as it goes right now, the order in which the Sims occur would be The Sims 3, because it is young Mortimer. The Sims 1, because Alexander does not exist yet. Then it becomes The Sims 2 and 4 are tied. Assumably Sims 4 can occur before Sims 2, because Mortimer is of elderly age in The Sims 2. So the order would then be 3, 1, 4, 2. So my theory then is that because in The Sims 2, Bella doesn't exist, because assumably she has been abducted by aliens, that the split occurs right before The Sims 4. Um, that being, what happens if Bella does get abducted by aliens, and what happens if Bella doesn't get abducted by aliens. Free will is a key component to The Sims games. Uh, you can either give the choice to The Sims to do whatever they want to do, or you can take away that choice and they can only do what you tell them to do. And so, because of this, it complicates this timeline in that someone had to give Bella the choice to use the telescope by either purchasing it for her and then telling her to use it, or not canceling the action for her to use it. So that's where the split occurs. If Bella does get abducted, then The Sims 2 occurs. If Bella doesn't get abducted, then The Sims 4 occurs and life continues onward. Um, and that's... That's pretty much the theory. You know, it's, it's not too complicated. I don't really know why I thought of this theory and like why it's something that interests me, but I think it's 
really interesting that the, the developers just decided to put The Sims 4 into an alternate universe, when I feel as though The Sims 4 can fit perfectly in this timeline if there's a split in the timeline. I mean, even without the split, you could say that The Sims 4 can still sit before The Sims 2 in the timeline because Mortimer isn't quite elderly yet, and neither Cassandra nor Alexander are, you know, at peak ages yet. I just, I love a good theory, um, and so I wanted to share this theory with you all. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have a theory about The Sims or you want to have, make a, or you want to make a comment about this uh, theory, then uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, please visit our website, player-versus.com, for more articles and videos and content in general. Um, and I look forward to sharing more ideas and theories with you all at another time.